Uh, don't worry, I'm, I'm, I'm unshaven too, but you can't see me. <laughs> I can see you now. <laughs> Hi, everybody. That's my good, good, good friend f since 1971. Something like that. Yeah, we were childhood neighbors, and his brother was my age. We hung out. Anyhow, he became a music fan. More importantly at the time, Jimmy Page, man. Yeah, I was a Jimmy Page fan, yeah. So uh, when I was a kid, I remember when he got this guitar, and I had never seen one before. Why don't you uh, tell me what we're looking at? It's a 1973... Gibson Les Paul Custom. It has had fretwork done to it before I purchased it in 1979 from a guy that played in the band. It was called Stevie D and the Memories, I think was the name of the band. And the night I bought it, I went there with money from my grandfather, $425. Oh, no shit. And, yeah, and I watched the band. They were auditioning a new drummer. And I was watching this guy, you know, he was playing this guitar and he was singing this song, doing all 50s and 60s rock. And uh, he, uh, he went to like three or four drummers and he, he wanted a, a rock and roll drummer, not a rock drummer, you know. And Someone like me, man. Could do the hi-hat and play quietly. I'm just kidding. And or play loudly when the need demanded. And, and uh, when it took, it was a grueling night, but about 10.30 that night he was all done. He wiped the guitar down. It was in this case. The case is beat to heck. I need to get new blocks for it and stuff. But anyways, uh, I brought it home that night, and I just sat in my room in the case. I was, like, in awe. I had this guitar. <laughs> did did, you, like, tell, did you tell your mom and dad? Well, yeah. My dad's dad borrowed me the money. My grandfather awesome. borrowed me the money. My dad took me to go get it. High night. five. Yeah. <clears throat> so... I paid my grandfather back. I worked at the Beehive restaurant. That's how I had to do it with my yeah. shit. I, I paid, had to pay it back. Paid it back. Through my dad. And now the thing is worth probably ten times that. I, I don't, <laughs> I, I don't see any checking on it. Well, there on the back it's got some. Well, that's some buckle stuff. rash. Yeah, it's got some buckle rash, but. Man, man look at that. Nothing too bad because I, I don't normally wear a belt when I'm playing. I, I, I wear, wear no, I don't. I don't wear a belt. I like for my pants to fall down. <laughs> <laughs> Comes in handy. Well, here it is, and I've been thinking about this guitar in a long and I, time. And as you can see, the stock uh, tail piece is not on there. That is I was getting ready to say yeah, these don't look stock. It's a Gibson part. You have a locking tuners or something? And I got, I took, I took the the shalers off and put Grovers on. Okay. I actually had that done. I had everything done in a shop. Yes. Because I, I was talking to the guy. He said, "Well, these Grovers have a thicker diameter post." than the shalers had that come with it. And he said, how are you going to clean those holes? I'm like, I said, with the drill bit. He's like, dude, you'll crack the head stuff. <laughs> I'm like, how about you guys do it? He's like, good idea. We <laughs> needed like, the okay, business anyhow. Let the here work on the guitar. Let the carpenter build houses, right? We, so, uh... That's... <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what... Your 12 string, you still have, I know you don't have it here, but I used these, to have an Ensenada 12 string, I have a Martin Sigma. The first one was the Ensenada? Yeah, and I, I trained well, that to Shepard Labowitz. I remember, somewhere, I, think. I remember being a young child. I trained that from Shepard, I should say. Anyway. And I'm laying in my bed in the morning, and since Robert was my next door neighbor, I'd wake up to the sound of 12 string guitar. Oh yeah, we'd be sitting outside playing the guitar, yeah. And I, trying to figure out Hank Jr. <laughs> or, hey, hold it. Dust in the wind. Dust in the wind, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that was after. The Hank Jr. came way after the dust in the wind phase. But, yeah. but gee whiz, um, I don't know I, how much time I have left on my memory. Robert, thank you. Thank you, Frank. Here, let's have a, a pleasure. All That's right. Awesome. Let's make some music. Look at that. Okay, bye. <laughs>